All right, what's up everybody? Coach Kramer, and today we're breaking down four stationary crossover drills that you can do anytime, anywhere to improve your game. Thanks for checking out our video today. Please remember to subscribe to our channel as I release at least two videos every single month to help you improve your game. First crossover is a tight cross. A tight cross being low, tight here, inside of our frame. We would use that many times when we're trying to protect the basketball in like a cutback situation. So if I'm driving to the basket, the defense cuts me off, it needs to be low and quick to protect the basketball, and it's just a sharp angle change. So maybe it's coming in, coming here, real quick time, and then I'm going into the basket. If I see that defender, they're reading my cross, they see that I'm coming back this way, and it could be boom, immediate coming back downhill into my drive. Here we are with a low, wide base with the basketball in hands inside of our frame, quickly pushing the basketball back and forth, a reactionary dribble when we get into a game. This is what I like to call stance one. The next crossover that we're doing is our wide cross, being able to stretch our driving angles out. Stretching the dribble out also makes me a better passer because I'm bringing the basketball outside my body also makes me harder to guard. The situation that you would use it in is being able to set up your defender as you close the gap. That's why I can come up here, set him up, boom, hook. Stop getting up into my shot. And it's a real big, when we're on the move, it's a real big side foot load. So what you would end up having is the basketball here. It's a right hand dribble. It'd be a right foot load over here. Boom. And we're really trying to side load push to be able to cover ground. So as you're repping out a wide cross, you want to keep a low wide base. You also want to make sure you're stretching your angle, stretching your dribble out. So you can make sure to do that by having your arm straight when you bring the basketball out. Uh, too many times when players try to get wide, they'll kind of have an alligator arm still. We want to stretch the angle out, stretch the arm, keep the elbow straight. Our next crossover is an over-the-top cross, okay? Over-the-top, or some people call it a push cross. Now, you use a push cross when a defender's hand is low. They're going to take that low steal away, but we still want to change direction so I can get the basketball, boom, and push it across my body. The other time that it's very effective is if I have two players closing the gap on me. Maybe it's a double team. But before they really get into that position, I can push the basketball into a spot and then my body follows it. So the push cross is really effective for that type of situation where maybe I have another defender who's approaching me, I see an open spot, everything's tight here, so I can get the basketball to that spot and then I can follow with my body. Two things, one stance more of an upright, narrow base, still athletic, keeping our hips back. And two, we wanna make sure that the referee isn't gonna call us for a carry. Even if it's not, they like to call it for a carry. So make sure your hand is on top and behind the ball, pushing it across. All right, the next one, the next crossover is your setup cross. Your setup cross is more of a uh, narrow stance. The basketball isn't wide, it's more around hip, a hip to hip. It's a high V. This is really good when you're going full speed. All right, when I'm going full speed, I want to keep that speed. I want to keep my momentum. So being able to, to run at my defender, keep the basketball tight, right? It's going to be a higher dribble. I need the basketball to come up higher so I can get behind it and run with it. Other situation that's very effective is being able to use it to set up a defender. So you might come up on a defender with a high V set up, boom, and then drop and explode quickly. It's a great setup for a change of speed, right? Especially like a cross jab. You might approach your defensive player here, slow, hit him, boom, and then go. Or maybe it's a, a cut back off that. So I might come here, be set, boom, and then I can get into another change of direction move. But that high, narrow crossover is great when we're going full speed. We need to keep the basketball up with our body so we can run with it. And it's also great to set up a change of pace, change of direction move as we close the gap on the defensive play.
A high and tight crossover is going to allow us to be able to easily get our hand behind the basketball and run with it while we're going at full speed. It's also going to allow us to protect the basketball instead of letting it get out too wide and loose. We want to protect the basketball while we're on the move. Those four moves, you can rep them out stationary, understanding when we're going to apply it into a game situation. Get 20, 30, 40 reps of each before or after your practice and then make sure you're getting enough repetitions of those specific situations on the move that you then feel comfortable using them in a game. Thanks for checking out our video today. I hope you found it beneficial. If so, it would be awesome if you left a like, and if you can share it with someone who may also find it beneficial to help them improve their game, that would be awesome. And if you subscribe to our channel, you'll see that we come out with at least two videos every single month to try to help you get better. Thanks. Have a great day.